Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today I'll be starting a new series called Around the World Breakfast. I love exploring culture through food, so I've been thinking about this idea of breakfasts from around the world for quite a while now. For example, English fry-ups or a typical American breakfast. So what actually got me going on this series was something I just found in the grocery store the other day, and it is this. <laughs> and this is Taylor Pork Roll. So New Jersey is a state here in the US on the East Coast and everyone there knows about pork roll because that's where pork roll was born. It was created in Trenton, New Jersey over 100 years ago. There's all kinds of debate on whether you call this pork roll or Taylor ham. I'm not going to go into it because it's very, very contentious. <laughs> it comes in two different forms. It comes like this pre-sliced and it comes like this as an actual roll. It's cooked in this cotton bag and then you peel that off and you slice it up and fry it. So I've never tasted pork roll before and I'm going to try it today in something called a Jersey breakfast or it's also called pork rolled egg and cheese. Apparently you can find it everywhere in New Jersey but I've never actually had it before and it's pretty simple and straightforward. It's basically a roll, Kaiser roll, hoagie or sometimes a bagel which I'm going to use today and you add a fried egg, you add some American cheese and several slices of pork roll that have been fried up. All right, it sounds delicious. I can't wait to taste it. And if you like this idea of breakfast, be sure to subscribe. Okay, let's go ahead and make this. <laughs> so first thing I'm gonna do is cut up my pork roll. And it seems like the simplest thing to do is just to cut it right through the middle. And there it is. It looks kind of like ham. It kind of looks speckled like mortadella or something. You can see a lot of fat in there. It smells a little bit porky, not surprising. There's this plastic, and then there's this muslin kind of cotton bag on the outside. So we'll slice that and peel that off. This is so old school. I love it. I love the pattern <laughs> of the muslin on there. So apparently you can eat a thin or you can eat a thick. I'm just going to go for a thin cut. And to keep it from curling while you're cooking it, you make a few slices around the perimeter before frying. I'm going to do three. This is the same product that's been pre-sliced. And here it is. Oh, this size is bigger. Look at that. There are four slices and they're about a quarter inch thick and they are significantly larger than the roll that I got. All right, let's fry these up. I've got my pan heating up on medium here. Let's go ahead and add our slices. Some big ones. All right, let's give this a toss. So now that I'm finished frying up my pork roll, I'm going to fry up my egg in the pork roll juices. Yum. I don't like getting egg yolk all over myself, so I'm going to break up my yolk a little bit. Although I do like runny eggs, just not in my breakfast sandwiches. So while my egg is frying, I'm going to toast my bagel. Be right back. Now I'm going to add a slice of American cheese. All right, so now that we have all our components, let's put this thing together. I'm going to take my bagel and I'm going to butter it. I love this thing. I just got this recently. Love it. This butter dish. I think they call it a French butter dish, but it goes in. Anyways, I love this thing. It goes into water. Oh, amazing. All right, I'll stop. Next, I'm going to add my pork roll. I'm going to use one big fat slice and a couple Next, I'm going to top that with my fried egg with cheese. Oh my gosh, can you see that? Oh man, yes. Now I'm gonna put the bagel hat on top. Doink. Now that, my friends, is a Jersey breakfast. <laughs> Doesn't it look spectacular? All right, come to mama. All right, I'm gonna cut this bad boy in half. You look at that. That's exactly how I like my eggs. We have a nice, generous layer of pork roll, a fried egg that has a slightly jellied yolk, just how I like it, and lots of melted American cheese. Yes. It is only missing one thing, ketchup. <laughs> Are you a ketchup person? I love ketchup with my breakfast. I love it with my breakfast potatoes, and I love it with my eggs. You? And I'm going to add a little bit of ketchup to this, which I've read is totally legit. Itadakimasu. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. 
I was expecting the pork roll to be really, really salty, and I was surprised that it wasn't. I also was surprised that it wasn't really smoky. I think the round shape and frying it makes me think of Canadian bacon, but it doesn't have that really strong smoky flavor. And it has a very different texture as well. The texture is more like when you fry Spam, but it's not as salty as fried Spam. Let me try it just by itself. Mm. Mm -hmm. It does taste a little bit like bologna, although it does have a slightly different texture. Because it's not as smoothly ground, it's not as kind of bouncy and chewy as bologna can be, or floppy. This is the first time I've ever had pork roll, but it definitely tastes kind of familiar, and I figured out what it tastes like. It reminds me of when you get a hot dog and you grill a hot dog, so you get that like roasty, toasty skin on the outside of the hot dog, which is simultaneously crisp and chewy. It's kind of like that. Next time I'll try this on a different type of bread. I'm sure it's a little bit different experience having it on a softer roll. So answer this for me. What is a typical breakfast like from where you're from? Not necessarily what you have for breakfast every day, but is there a particular kind of dish that your area is known for for breakfast? Let me know and I'll research it and I'll see if I can make it for this series. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Like this video so I know that you like this series and yeah, follow me on social media, share this video with your friends and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. And this is Pea's Jail Break. Yeah, it works beautifully. You just gotta be really careful. Noodles.